Hello everyone and welcome back. And this will be a general weekly reading for the sign of Cancer for the week of November 14th through the 20th of 2022. I would also like to thank everyone who has given my channel a thumbs up and subscribed and left comments. Thank you very much for doing that. It is greatly appreciated. All right, Cancer, your first card out. The King of Cups. Well, you showed up in your reading right off the hop, so this definitely is for you. You know, you're moving forward with your, your life, you're solving some problems. You're, you know, with relationships, friendships, co-workers, relatives. You're doing okay in that profession. You want everybody to see your point of views. And the Two of Swords. So you've been sitting on this for quite a while, trying not to make a decision to move one way or the other. You've just been trying to hold your ground and not make a decision in any anything going on this week. But... You know, your inability to refuse to make that choice, sometimes it will make it for you and you may not like the results. So you're, you know, in the meantime, you're accepting what um, unnecessarily is coming at you, but you're not really wanting to make that decision. Now, this could be in a job, a relationship, friendships. You know, this could have to do with, you know, your relatives as well. Uh, you're four of rods, so you're on good solid foundation. Have have faith in yourself. You know you're on the right path going forward. Things are a little more solider than you think it is. Things are starting to grow and go your your way for you. You're starting to, you know, feel more um, happy with your life and your choices. You're being rewarding yourself as well. Maybe you've decided to go and buy something for yourself this week you know you're bas you're basking in your accomplishments and you should because you know all accomplishments count in people's life and the four of swords well, taking a time out stepping back looking at what you have accomplished in your life this week how far you've come the decisions that you've made you know, you're trying not to do anything in haste. For some of you, this could be you uh, recouping from an, uh, an ailment or taking care of somebody that has, you know, been ill and you're just going to go and, you know, bring them that chicken noodle soup sort of thing. You know, maybe there's been a misunderstanding between yourself and somebody else of some kind. You know, maybe they said something that upset you or you've said something that has upset them. So, you know, you're not trying to force your will on anybody. You're just relaxing, taking a step back so that you don't overanalyze or overthink this. Maybe you've just been putting something off for a while. Maybe this is the week that you need to make that appointment for some of you to, you know, get your health in order. And the Eight of Pentacles. So hard at work, making things grow, making things go in your future. You know, you've put a lot of effort and, and things into what you want to do. Maybe you're taking a course of study for some of you. Maybe you're going back to school. Maybe you've um, decided to help somebody learn something. You're certainly not afraid to work. You know, you put a lot of effort into everything. You're... Um, you're starting off on a new project now whether that's at work or something that you're doing for yourself and it's almost like beginner's luck new start you know you're moving you're moving into a, a major shift in an industry perhaps for yourself but you're taking that study and you're okay with doing that and the hangman so you know, whatever you were feeling was holding you back, you know, you're starting to re-analyze um, it a little bit more this week. And you're, you're going over the conversations that you had with different people. And, 
you're realizing that, you know, you're taking, you're listening to both sides of the conversation. You're not really taking anybody's side, but you're making a decision for yourself. And the lovers. For some of you, you may be making that final step into a relationship a little bit farther. Maybe you're going to get engaged. Maybe you're moving in together. You know, maybe you're going to buy a house together. Sign in a prenup for some of you. But others of you, this could be a, a career that speaks to your heart, something that you're very passionate about. And, and it shows in your craftsmanship and, and your decisions to better yourself going forward in the future. But you're quite content. And the Eight of Swords. So you've made, you know, you've put off making this decision for quite a while for yourself. You know, you're, you're all tied up in knots over, you know, trying to make this decision that you don't have to worry going forward in the future. You know, you've held off making a decision, you know, and you're starting to realize that that's not the right thing for you to do. And you're going to, you know, take the blindfolds off. Maybe somebody's um said something to you or you've heard about something somebody has said you've been you know holding off making this decision because you're a little bit afraid which is understandable everybody's afraid of something you know whether we admit it or not is another question but we're all stepping back from making you know snap decisions without looking forward to seeing what's coming at you all right, and the Three of Swords. So maybe you've had a heartache or heartbreak in the past. Now, whether this was done to you or somebody did it to you or you did it to them, maybe you've seen them, you haven't seen them for quite a while and maybe they walk by on the street or you heard about them, that sort of thing, and you're wondering, you know, are they going to do that to somebody else? But you're realizing that it's okay because it's taught you a lot going forward into your new relationships and endeavors that what you will and won't put up with anymore. So you're going to take the swords out of your heart so that you can move forward happy in your future. And I think that's what these cards are saying to you this week. It looks like you've gone through a, a fairly bad relationship or breakup and you've been afraid to make any decisions for yourself going forward um, afterwards. So now you're taking the blindfolds off the swords out of your heart so that you can find happiness again in your life. And the Ten of Cups. So most definitely so you can find happiness in, in your life again. Absolutely. You know, happy home, happy life. You know what you want going forward from here. You're, re you're realizing that, you know, things are starting to develop much easier in your life you're getting along with people more people enjoy your company you enjoy theirs um, relationships are starting to go in the right direction that you like that sort of thing you're starting to get um, a team together that you get along with and it'll be going forward into the future for a long term you know you're finding emotional security uh, this could be, uh, for some of you, like I said, this could be a new relationship as well. And if it is, it is going to be one that's going to last for quite some time because you're on the same page as each other. So you understand what's expected from both sides and the justice. So maybe you're signing that prenup because this could be uh, a court case as well. Maybe you're having to finally get a divorce from somebody, make a settlement in a court case, uh, some sort of legal contract of some sort that you're going to have to deal with this week that you've just decided, you know, in the past that, ah, it's no big hurry or no worry. And you're starting to realize that it's time to settle that so that you can feel more contentment and freedom for yourself. You just didn't realize it up until this week that how much it was actually hindering you and holding you back from your own forward life. And the Three of Cups. So a celebration, happiness, could be a birthday, anniversary, celebration of some sort, get together unexpectedly for some of you. 
you know, maybe you ran into somebody and you decided to go for a few drinks, that sort of thing, or some coffee, but you're really enjoying yourself. You know, you're, you're quite happy. You're in the right company. Everybody's getting along. Everybody's glad to see one another. And the Ten of Rods. So you've put down those burdens. You've learned to delegate a little bit easier for yourself, realizing that, you know, this is not all on your shoulders. You need to, uh, and you have, decided to accept the help from others and you're starting to let them do more for themselves. And the Two of Pentacles. So you've been definitely juggling this for a while in your life. And you're tired. You know, it's, it's hard to keep that persona up all the time, you know, looking like you're happy, everything's going well, making sure, you know, if that person's not happy, that you're going to make them happy sort of thing. But you're realizing that, you know, this is no quality to life. And the Seven of Cups. So you're definitely feeling okay with this. You know, you have a lot of really good, wonderful ideas going forward. You're not quite sure which one you want to change in your life, but you've you've sort of got a really good idea what you want and you're looking forward to getting started at it and you're taking it one step at a time. You know, you're doing it methodically and you're going forward with it. And the nine of rods, so you definitely stood your ground. You know, it doesn't matter what people say. It's your decisions. You're realizing that and you're okay with the decisions that you've made this far so this looks like it's going to be a really good week you're making some pretty heavy decisions you know you're letting go of that past that hurts you so bad so that you can now move into the future with your own you know love and happiness going forward which is wonderful to see all right cancer and your angel oracle card your emotions are healing which enables you to open to great love, greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and mind. Well, there you go. Yeah, you're going to let go of that past hurt so that you can move into the future for yourself with happiness. All right, on that note, I will say goodbye for now. And I will talk to you again next week. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and bye for now.